we happened to see a jelly and uh, we kind of thought he looked a little bit like something we hadn't seen before so we swung around and had a closer look and we realized that he was something quite unique. We had sort of an inkling of who he could be and when he was first described there was actually a drawing done of him. So all there is is a drawing and we contacted uh, Dr. Lisa Gershwin at the CSRO in Hobart and she confirmed that he was the Crampioni Cookie Eye. We see a lot of the what people call snotties, uh, the lion's mane, we see a lot of those ones out there but as we kind of came past he was sort of more of a cube shape I would say which indicated that he was something fairly solid so we swung around and had a look and we could see that he wasn't just the ones we see quite regularly. Generally all animals in the world there'll be a type specimen somewhere in a museum or any other institution so we are planning on donating it to the Queensland Museum uh, to keep in their specimen collection. Well currently we don't know enough about him to know if we can maintain him uh, or how to look after him so at the moment we're watching him and seeing how he's doing and then obviously we'll see how he goes over the next couple of days but we would like to contribute him to the body of science since there are no uh, known specimens of him.